Yes, they can. I've done it, but it really is dependent on the individual. When I was at Salesforce, I interviewed this guy, Don, and he interviewed very well, but he wrote me a thank you note and he wrote, Hey, Alan, thanks a lot for the time. I really enjoyed the interview. I'm really excited to work at Amazon, blah, blah, blah. I was like, dude, I'm at Salesforce. I think you're trying to apply for Salesforce here, not Amazon. I'm guessing that this was a canned response. I called him on it and he's like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. And I was like, that's okay. So I was forgiving there. I've been forgiving with other people that have interviewed poorly, but had a really strong reputation coming in because I do know that a 45 minute conversation is less indicative of someone's capability than a longer body of work. So I have been very forgiving with people. So interviewers definitely can be forgiving. But again, it's dependent on the interviewer and you don't know who you're interviewing with and there is no quality control either. There's no quality assurance. So I can give you any rating you want and as long as I have confirming information to support it, like if I want to say, oh, Debbie showed up and her internet was spotty and how could she do that coming to an interview? Like if she can't do that for an important interview, forget it, we're not hiring her. Or I could say, well, Debbie had some difficult problems with her internet connectivity, but she plowed through it and she had a good attitude about it and she's very resilient. I, I can say, let's hire Debbie because she had a great attitude there. Or I could say, let's get rid of Debbie because she should have known better and she should have had a plan B in place.